Hello and welcome to me, Dazblade, and my adventures in Minecraft. Okay, we're going to start off. We've had another name suggestion for another one of our masons, so we're going to um, we're going to give it a name. So let's get uh, into a different view. And where is it? It's this one here. Now then. This is um, another name suggestion by, um, come on, <laughs> can't, things are not moving. Um, another name suggestion by um, Love Dust. So the name is Witterer. What a cool name, Witterer. <laughs> White Terracotta, Witterer. I think that's the the idea behind that name. So let's just add love dust here. Uh, just like so. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. And there we go. Now, <laughs> that's the second one that love dust has named. So come on, guys, you better get your name suggestions in. Otherwise, uh, love dust just might end up naming them all might be on a bit of a roll there <laughs> oakley dookly let's take a look at the additions out here uh, i've made another password pa pa pathway um adjacent to this pathway it's in the um exact same style uh put some little bushes around here um but yeah this additional pathway this takes us now directly to our cactus farm and you can see the entrance there is pretty much the same as that one down there um however this one is slightly bigger um i probably need to do a bit more decorating around here however that's going to wait until we built the big house um up there which we're going to be doing this episode actually but before we do that we're going to actually before we even do that let me just show you in inside the uh the cactus farm area because i've completely finished the decorating now so if you remember last time the upper bits weren't completed and the floor weren't really decorated the floor the ceiling even wasn't really decorated um but now this uh this old room is completely decorated um and the cactus is um coming along really nicely um i mean two minds whether i'm gonna do this smelter or not you know i might just um get away with doing it by hand because i only need a certain amount so is it really worth me building a smelting unit just for the amount that i want i don't know we'll see we'll see um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you that because that is now done. Um, but what we're going to do before we start building the asks, I spent um, quite a lot of time gathering all the resources and it has took what seems like an absolute age, but I think I've got enough resources to uh, get the house built and get this area built as to how i want it got my shulker box there with a bit of a uh, quartz stuff i've got my other resources at the top of the hill for the uh for the ass so i think we shall make a start on this <laughs>
Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far. Um, I love this quartz and obviously the underfloor lighting that's starting to become a bit of a tradition now. Um, but, you know, it, it works. It does the job. It does the spawn proofing. And that's what you want. And it keeps the uh, unsightly torches out of sight. Um, but, yeah, we're going to uh, keep going up with some more quartz. But I think we're going to mix it up a little bit as we get to this level, I think. I think this is where we might uh, just mix it up a little bit. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So let's uh, crack on and uh, we'll get the next bit done. Well, you know, I, I say next bit. I've only gone and completed the old steps, Anna. When I say I've completed the old steps, I mean I've completed it all the way up. Um, I might need to do a bit more detail into it, but let's uh, take a look, shall we? ta -da! So there we have it. Um, I added, just to blend in with these, um, what should we call it, light areas here, I added these additional lighting uh, to the to the green ass. Now, it, not very good how uh, it doesn't attach there, because with that being steps and that being a, a, a wall, it uh, looks a bit strange, but if you don't look at the gap, <laughs> then, then it's fine. Just avert your eyes from the gap. So, we've got the quartz start here, and we've got all the underfloor lighting underneath this uh, bottom bit here and then we go up here and we've got underfloor lighting here as well and then we start on the polished blackstone steps and the chiseled uh, blackstone and I just slipped in a few magma blocks there I don't know if they're gonna stay um I mean my effort I think it, I think it looks okay. I think it might add to it, especially with what we're going to do when we get up here. Um, so these um, are polished blackstone steps, and then these are polished brick blackstone steps, which brings us nicely to the top here, uh, where we're going to have our non-traditional biking longhouse. It's not going to be like any kind of traditional stereotypical viking longhouse it's going to be very very different um i've also done a bit of terraforming either side of it to make space uh and room for the way this is going to be built um i might have to put a few more bits in here because at the moment this looks quite square shall we just take a little fly let's have a let's have a fly i said fly so if we look now we can see the shape of the long house there if we move around here so yeah it's looking a bit square it's still a bit more terraforming to do there to make it look a bit better because it's kind of square tapered at the moment but you know we get in there we get in there and we soon will have the house on top of the hill like i said that i'm going to live in and i think it's a reasonable size it will be a lot bigger obviously <laughs> it will be a lot bigger when it's built because there'll be more blocks so there you know i like to state the obvious oh gee <laughs> so i've got all me um blocks here some copper and whatnot um what we've got in here we've got uh, all the oak bits um nah we won't be limited to this you know i might have to get some more more bits that's all the blackstone stuff there and i was thinking about making this part 
the um, the storage area because as it goes up and up and gets bigger at this side the side of the building obviously we can get more chests in and I think we should then have enough chests here for almost everything that we'll need in the game possibly probably I reckon that's what I believe I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here because in there we've got like there's the cactus farm it's just there and I thought it was quite cool how it um, actually under these under the steps here and under the ass so I don't know whether to make a, like um, a, a this side where it, where it is at the moment kind of walkway down or close all this off and perhaps have a just a single block trap door entrance I haven't decided on that yet but further down here there's lots <laughs> Lots, lots of uh, exploration stuff down there. So, yeah, I think um, I think it's coming along nicely. And the next step now is to, well, the next step now is to get some sleep because we don't want them zombies coming out. Don't want zombies in my head. Not now, not ever. And I certainly don't want creepers because you know how those creepers, you know how they love me so much and they constantly hunting me down I'm not paranoid they really are they really do those creepers they're out to get me but anyway um yeah so we've got the steps done I, I don't I fully decided you know how to maybe maybe add to it but maybe I'll get some inspiration as we start building on the house a bit and start to get the look and feel of what, what this is going to be like. Um, I'm a bit undecided here. I was thinking of making like a little uh, pond. Not a pond. Um, yeah, a pond, possibly. Pond. Some some kind of um, water. <laughs> water um, thing. Some kind of water thing, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. So it won't be a swimming pool, but some kind of pond, maybe. So, yeah. And I'll... Uh, I'll catch you soon with another update. So the house on the hill is uh, starting to come to life a bit now. Uh, we've done quite a lot of work on it, on, on the outside of it. Um, as you just saw there by the little uh, flyby. So let's just take a, a quick look inside. So here's going to be the main storage area. Now, I got a bit fancy with this background when all I really wanted to do was just provide some lighting in the background for this chest area and as you can see i got a bit fancy <laughs> fancy with it but hey ho i mean it's going to be covered up but you know um it, it was worth it i enjoyed doing it just got to get the rest of the uh chests uh put in here and i've got to think about um this interior how are we going to make this look nice um my initial thoughts were to go for a kind of traditional uh, like a Viking longhouse interior but um, as you can see there's nothing traditional about this house whatsoever um, it's kind of surreal if you like um, with the blocks that I've chose uh, to build this but yeah it's, it's gonna need some thinking I haven't fully thought it out yet um, down here, I'm not sure what we're going to have down here. It could be some kind of um, hall, a great hall. No, not a great hall. It's not, not big enough to be a great hall, is it? Um, but I do like these chiselled um, these chiselled copper blocks as columns. They really do stand out and, and they do look nice. Maybe have it as um, 
Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe have it as... Hmm, I don't know. What shall we have it as? Um, yeah, so I need to think about that as well, don't I? Um, got to design these this stairway as well. Make this all, all look nice. And, of course, I have to go with the underfloor lighting, probably. Uh, which is going to be a bit tricky, considering what we have here. But we'll see, we'll see. It, it, it needs some more thoughts. Now this, I'm definitely thinking, because that's just too big of an hole, isn't it, really? I'm definitely thinking we fill all this in and we just have, like, a maybe a trapdoor um, entrance down into it, and then we can still come down into it. And we can also possibly make some kind of entrance here to uh, the cactus farm as well um, and then obviously down here there's some uh, exploring to be done down there um, I've lit it up as, as best I can to you know to spawn proof it because the last thing you want is um, zombies and creepers <laughs> under your ass so yeah um, um, I, hope, I hope you all like like what you're seeing and uh, but uh, dear me, but dear me, we still we still need there's still a, a, a lot to do with this. I, I, you know, I've already spent a lot of time on it, but it's it's fun time. It's not. I don't see it as a chore. It's it's fun time. And I, d I don't know if I got a bit stupid here by doing uh, by doing this here because it, it's going to make it kind of a bit more trickier to put in a doorway um i mean we could we could leave it open but is that uh, is that feasible you know when, when it's raining all the all the weather and wind blowing in and so on um so again more thoughts on that um but yeah i'm 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 happy with the way it's it, with the way it's progressing and we're getting the ass on deal. We're gonna have a back door uh, or side door, should I say? Back door, side door. It's a. It's gonna be a door, a door, door in and out door um, to get entrance. Um, I also need to consider whether I'm gonna put some windows in as well. I mean, this is gonna be the main entrance, hence why it's so big, and and um, what this is. And through here, as you can see, the outside, and it'll be the main entrance, like I just said, but we need to do, come up with some kind of design for it. So, yeah, the house on the hill is, uh, is getting there. Okay, so now you've seen the outside of the house, I'm going to quickly show you a bit more of this um, custom fantasy tree that I've built, because every fantasy house needs a fantasy tree to go with it, and then I'll just give you a quick little guide on the interior. So let's go take a look at that, shall we? So, yeah, um, and the leaves are sparsely populated oh dear me i knew that was gonna happen yeah i did try to do a bit of terraforming as well did it as best as i could i wanted to make it look steep so that's why um i guess it looks a bit blocky but it doesn't look too bad from a distance you know believe me trust me but yeah back to this tree so yeah the leaves are sparsely populated because i wanted the like the branches to be um showing um, so it's easier to see. Um, I had a go at making kind of roots at the bottom, but mm, not, I'm not sure whether 
That's turned out all right. Maybe if I put some bushes and start doing some flowers and stuff, maybe that might make it look a bit better. Maybe put a block there, block there as well, just to break that up. That looks a bit flat, doesn't it? But yeah, I'll sort that out. I'll look at that in a bit. But yeah, so it, it starts off darker at the bottom and gets a bit lighter as you get further up. Same with the leaves as well. The leaves are darker as they're more central. And then as they start sprouting out, they're getting a bit um, lighter. So yeah, I was quite quite happy with that. <laughs> it took ages to do. Oh, by the way, that sort of like scorpion tail type design there. I got that idea from... Um, from Love Dust, who's um, a break, a break rock, a broke rock even, a broke rock, broke rocker, same as me. Um, if you look at her build, she she uses this star quite a lot, and she is absolutely brilliant at, at doing this kind of design. So I thought, you know, I'd have a go at it, and it didn't turn out too bad. Don't ask me what that's supposed to be up there. It's some kind of ad. It could be a dragon. I guess we could call it a dragon, I, I guess. But I thought it just needed something to come out there because this front bit and around the sides of the houses did look a bit flat, which is why I kind of added these bits of design here to make it sort of like pop out a little bit better. Um, so let's go and have a look inside. So, as you can see, it's quite minimalist design. You know, things might get added as we as we move on because obviously i want to put a crafting table in here and maybe have an ender chest somewhere and, and what have you so let's start with this bit here and um, this is sort of like the heartwarming fire and hearthstone uh where cooking can be done and um you can stand here and warm your hands up and and what have you and yeah i use string over the top of the fire just to Stop the uh, stop the smoke coming out coming up because it didn't look right. Smoke coming up in the um, in the in indoors <laughs> indoors. That's what I mean. So yeah, that's the the hair. Uh, I've gone with like a a double stairway to the upper floor. They still maybe maybe put a room here and not there. No, we won't put one there. But we might put a small room on this upper level here, I haven't decided yet. Um, so if we go up, uh, and we can take a, a, another look down at the, the hair fire. Um, it looks quite nice, it's all right. We've got these little uh, planks um, making a kind of archway underneath the, underneath the dividers. Um, up here, we have the bedroom three beds <laughs> it's a king size bed <laughs> i might even put three more there so it'll be a, a, a king 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 size bed uh, but yeah it's kind of again kind of minimalistic nothing too fancy a few trap doors and a little painting above it uh, the reason why i did these uh, trap doors here is because the from the other side of the building the black roof was showing through and it looked a bit strange so I added these trap doors and it's actually made quite a nice pattern um, above the bed. Uh, got some bookshelves there, some cane dividers again. Um, over here we have this little, what would we call this? Some, a gangway, an archway, um, walkthrough way. It's, uh, yeah, it's uh, quite nice. I haven't decided what I'm going to do here. But these aren't going to be walled off. They're going to stay open plan. So obviously that's the bedroom over there. Um, not really sure what I'm going to put up here. But um, again, as as we as we uh, get going, we'll um, we'll come up with something. Um, as I say, I might pop another little room just um, up here. But I think that looks all right as it is because this is quite big. This earth. Uh, fire hair thing. Is it hair or hair stone? Is it just hair? I don't know. But either way, that, what's that? That's a that's a pillager inside inside my house. Elder. Right. Let's go and sort this pillager out. 
Well, because we're going back downstairs. There's two of them! Oh my hey, god! Hey! 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 <laughs> hey! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I'm in danger! Ow, 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 ow! Yeah, yeah, to. Oh, dear. I dare you to try oh, that again. Yeah, did we? We all ended up killing each other. Ah. Uh, <laughs> at least it's in my house and I haven't lost anything. <laughs> Uh, oh, and uh, yes, I had, must have had the foresight to have sorted that out as well. So I respawned nicely. Oh, God, I'm, I think I had about 60-odd levels as well, so I've lost all those levels. But luckily, I've got a really good trading or so I can soon, I can soon build them levels back. So I'm back to seven levels. Oh, home. Uh, let's see if we can pick these arrows up. I don't know how I kept missing them from that distance. They were so close. <laughs> oh, but that was so, that was so funny. How we must have all got the last shot in at the same time, so we all died together. <laughs> and yeah, it is dark, isn't it? So let's just uh, let's just quickly dive into the bed. <laughs> oh, villagers, they're the bane of my life. Or are they? No. My nemesis is the zombies. Anyway, back to the back to the tour. So, down here we've got the storage, and yes, I had to find a way of incorporating my colours somehow. So I did a red and black um, checker down here with uh, red terracotta, black concrete. Here's all my storage chests. I believe I'm going to have easily enough um, chests for storage. I've started moving some of the stuff, as you can see. Now, what does every good fantasy home need? It needs a basement. And what does it need in that basement? It needs a fiendish thingy. If you're going to have a fantasy house, you need a basement with a fiendish thingy in it. What's a fiendish thingy, I hear you ask? Well, let's go and have a look. That is a fiendish thingy. Yep. Contemplate on that for a moment. It's a fiendish Fingy. The sign says it's a fiendish fingy. So it clearly is a fiendish fingy. Um, but that appeared there because I honestly didn't know what to do in this room. So I just started building and then I got a bit carried away with it and it ended up like this. And to be honest, it doesn't look too bad. It looks quite nice. It looks like it belongs there. The fiendish thingy in the basement. That's what you want. So yeah, this um, it, this is a non-traditional uh, Viking longhouse type style. It's meant to be sort of like fantasy, perhaps a bit surreal. Um, but overall, I am quite happy, quite happy with the design. So I hope you like this house. And if you do have any ideas of how I can fill in some additional spaces, you know, be sure to drop me a little message in the comments below and let me know. And uh, I read all the comments, so that will be nice. And with that, I think um, I think we'll, um, we'll leave it there for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!